Yo, what's going on, sexy seven on Discord? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Hachiman back to the A to Z. Fighting a Sukiyomi. Could be rough. Last time I fought a Sukiyomi, I broke my desk, so we'll see what happens. Um <clears throat> I do have some things to say though, obviously. Very, very obviously, I have been <clears throat> excuse me, not uploading reason for that if you don't follow the community tab on youtube or my twitter which i know a lot of people don't but uh the reason for that is because shiv broke her knee um i think it was last monday babe she broke her knee on sunday and uh had surgery on it on thursday and so i've Basically, just, you know, been trying to make sure that she's as comfortable as possible. And that's, I mean, that's really it. And it's not that I don't have time to record because I'm going to be honest, I definitely do. So it's not like a time limit thing. It's, it's more so I don't want to leave her by herself. So, you know, that's what's been going on. But for the people that have commented or seen the community tab or the, the Twitter post, thank you so much for the words. You know, she really, really appreciates appreciates it. Um, I do as well. It's really nice to see like, it's really nice to see a community that you've grown just be so supportive. Even when you're not creating content, it's pretty insane. Honestly, like. Most people want a community that will be supportive no matter what content they create. Whereas my 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 community will support me even if I don't even create content, period. It's pretty insane. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice to see. And I do want to say thank you guys so much for it. I am, I am super grateful and extremely happy about it. So thank you. <clears throat> that being said, um, like I said, Shiv had surgery on Thursday. She's doing better now like it, it seems like um you no know, everyone knows the first couple days after surgery is going to be the hardest so i think we're finally past the hard parts and uh she's starting to feel a bit better and as such i have agreed to finally give her about an hour or two of her life on her own back and, <laughs> and come to record so so that's where we are that's where we are. That being said, I do have alarms on my phone for when she needs to take medicine. And you might hear one. Uh, you, you probably won't hear one. You probably won't. It's an, it's, it's an hour away. Anyways, this game is going well. Very well, in fact. Um, <clears throat> I'm far ahead by about 250 gold. He didn't get a starter item, which seems weird to me. I don't think he kills me here. Mm. Oh, my two didn't land. My two didn't land. He does kill me there. I think what I should have done. Granted, I haven't played Smite in about, uh, about a week. So I'm a little rusty, but that's okay. But I think what I should have done there was uh, Aegis to the initial hits rather than Aegising the, the later hits. I, I thought maybe if, if he was close to me, I could kill him. But in fact, if he's close to me, he kills me. Who would have thought? Who would have thought melee characters are better when they're close? When you say it out loud, it seems dumb, doesn't it? Does your one do more damage than your normal autos? Yeah, it does. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Sneaking around undetected. All right. That being said, I did die there, but I also am still ahead of him. So I'm really quite okay with this. I've been... F ah, ow. Whoa. Jeez, bro. Got me some slackerooski, man. Got me some slackarooski, bro. Ow. The one hit's so hard. 
think I die if he ults me here. Um, wow, that slow is long. Just gonna life steal. I'm not gonna fast kill. Just life steal a bit. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I did alt there, but I think it's okay because I think the damage I got for alting was was really good. This man's out his mind if he thinks I'm giving him this. Literally psychotic. He does like a lot of damage though. You actually backing? Oh my god, he actually backed. That's wild. That's that he shouldn't have backed. That was a huge mistake. He has alt. He he has alt and he has shell. He easily could have just ulted me and won that fight. I'm honestly, I'm lucky. I'm lucky he didn't murder me. We take those. His one does so much damage. I have to be so far back. Not get blobber in time to buy it. Ooh, that hit him. All right. This is good damage. Curious as to if I should get defense here. <laughs> I saw, babe. Are you sure? All right. Be right back, boys. Be right back, boys. Okay, I'm back. Now, what was I saying? Should I go defense or anti-heal? That's what I was saying. Um... I actually think Breastplate is really good on Hachi. Believe it or not. <laughs> My second relic gonna be. I saw you there, Old third burglar. Back. Okay, I guess I'll just lose all my HP. are just trying to poke each other out it looks like but we both have a good amount of lifesteal so it's not working problem is for him is that he uses so much mana to poke and I use none so I always win these I think just because he has no mana alright well, there's his alt.
I can just do tower damage here now. Alright, that was really, really good. That was really, really good. I used my one for one auto attack just to stop his back so I could get some more damage on tower there. I'm going to go breastplate. It's kind of weird, I know, uh, to go breastplate here, but I, I like breastplate on Hachi, man. I just think it's good. I did go with shell, by the way, instead of thorns or um or bracer which i don't think would have been bad for the record i just think that i want more survivability against him because he's building all damage so i want to make sure i can live through the damage he's he's pumping which is a lot That was really good. Alright, I definitely win this fight here. Damn. I'm not able to catch up to him for the kill, but... I guess, you know, winning the fight is, is good. We should get tower actually from it, so maybe it's a little bit better than good. I think minions will get tower here. I'm going to go into Toxic Blade. He's building a lot of lifesteal. A lot of it. With Serrated and with Soul Eater. So much heal. Your team all right. All right. This is not looking bad, man. It's looking pretty promising. He's going to go Boomba's Hammer, though. And then I'm going to break my desk again. I think Boomba's hammer should like be removed from the game. That item is so ridiculous. 10% of your max HP and two seconds off any cooldown. Just for hitting an auto attack after using an ability. Like, come on. That's that's kind of insane. Mm-hmm. was not the best fight I could have done honestly I went all silent because I was trying to ambush I mean it was not bad right like it definitely wasn't bad but it could have been better by could have been better I mean it definitely should have been better but also we are pushing him back he has no mana he can't contest me He actually got the blue. I really did not think he could. My damage is really bad right now. Um, I mean, my build doesn't have a lot of power in it, to be fair. That being said, I think getting this Toxic Blade finished... This toxic blade, and I think I'm gonna go beat stick as well. And the reason for it is because it's 80% anti heal. And once he gets his, his Boomba's hammer, I need to have a lot of anti heal on the ready. I 
And then I might go Death Temper, honestly, instead of Death Embrace. But it depends on if he builds anti heal, I guess. I'm just gonna push. Alright, let's see if maybe I can do Bull Demon. I doubt it. Because I don't do a lot of damage. And he clears very fast. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I mean, he just lost a whole wave to Phoenix to do that. Which, you know, was literally nothing, by the way. Just give me out Bull Demon, I guess. So I guess it wasn't literally nothing, right? It did something. It just, you know, wasn't important. Oh. Okay. He has no mana, and I already cleared the wave, so this should be a Phoenix for me. Uh, it's definitely not a Phoenix for me, huh? Damn. Just life stealing. Okay. I may alt in a second. Nice. Nice. That was actually a pretty scary fight. He did really well there. But I mean to be fair, he had he had all of his abilities and stuff up and I did not, but um I'll do a little bit of Titan damage, but I won't be able to do a lot. He has no ult, so I'm not scared of being chased down or anything. Especially if I pick this up. What I am scared of is giving him all the buffs in the game, so. Alright, he is going beat stick, it looks like. He's still level 18, so I can still win the game. Once he gets level 20, that's when it's, it becomes pretty much impossible. Grab this. I'm gonna go. I am gonna go Des. Uh, Let's embrace here. And right now I've, I've just hit my, I've hit my power spike. This is when I have to end the game. I have to fight him now. Go for the win. Unfortunately, I don't have Aegis, so his ult will do a ton of damage. But, uh, I think it's kind of necessary. Because if I wait for him to get to level 20, I'm, I'm fucking boned. Still level 19. I did use my alt there, but um it's okay. I'm okay with this honestly. I'm actually happy he ulted me there. That goes through walls, huh? Who would have thought? Still level 19. I'm just getting my lifesteal going right now. Is about to hit level 20. Oh, 
GG, dude. I was so close. I was, I was so close to losing that game. He was like... I think if he killed those archers, he hits level 20, and then he buys full Boomba's hammer, and I just lose by default. That was close. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you again for all of the kind words that you've sent to me and Shiv um, through, you know, this time when she broke her knee and had to get surgery. It's been a little bit, a little bit not completely easy for her. Um, so yeah, thank you for all the kind words. I really appreciate it. She really appreciates it. And uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.